Hello, in this video we're going to solve for the Carnot and Stackelberg equilibrium. We'll start with the two firm Carnot. The inverse market demand is given as follows. P is the market price and Q is the market quantity where the market quantity is split between firm 1 and firm 2. If we were to substitute in for Q we we'll put in Q subscript 1 plus Q subscript 2 to get this result. Firm 1's output is given by Q subscript 1. Firm 2's output, again, is given by Q subscript 2. We're going to assume that each firm has a constant marginal cost equal to $2, so MC equals 2. If the firms had different marginal cost structures, we would still follow the same pattern in finding the equilibrium output and price in this market. We're going to start with firm one. So again, firm one, uh, we have the inverse market demand and firm one's marginal cost. We're going to calculate firm one's total revenue or revenue first. So revenue is price times quantity. So for price, I'm going to plug in the inverse market demand. And that's what you see here in brackets. And then I'm just going to simplify a little bit of what's in brackets. So minus 2 times Q subscript 1, minus 2 times Q subscript 2. We get this result. And then multiplying this Q subscript 1 throughout what's presented in the brackets, we now get this. And our next step is to get marginal revenue for firm 1, which is going to be the partial derivative of the revenue function with respect to firm 1's output. So 26q subscript 1 is now 26 minus 2q subscript 1 squared simplifies to minus 4q subscript 1. And then our last term here, the partial derivative of that with respect to q subscript 1 leaves us with minus 2q subscript 2. To maximize profits, we'll set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. As I said, the marginal cost for firm 1 is 2. If it was some other number, we would just plug whatever that number is into the right-hand side of this equation. So once we have this, I will solve for firm 1's output. So moving some things around, 26 minus 2 is where 24 is coming from. And now dividing through by 4, we get firm 1's reaction function. When both firms have identical marginal cost, and only when both firms have identical marginal cost structures, the reaction functions are going to be a mirror image of one another. For, so firm 2's reaction function will be the mirror image of firm 1's. So just reverse, basically just change these subscripts where you see a 1, you plug in a 2, where you see a 2, you plug in a 1, and that'll be firm 2's reaction function. So that is a shortcut method to get firm 2's reaction function when both firms have identical marginal cost structures. Nevertheless, I will solve for firm 2's reaction function. So looking at this pr from the perspective of firm 2, firm 2 faces the market inverse demand and has marginal cost also equal to 2. We're going to get firm 2's total revenue, price times quantity. So for the price, I plug in the inverse market demand. I will simplify, simplify some more. I'm going to take the partial derivative of the revenue function with respect to firm 2's output. This will be the marginal revenue of firm 2. And we'll set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. And now we'll solve this for firm 2's output moving some things around, dividing through by 4, we get firm 2's reaction function. And again, it is a mirror image of firm 1's reaction function. So we have two reaction functions, firm 1 and firm 2's. We have two equations and two unknowns. So I will substitute firm 2's reaction function into firm 1's reaction function. So here's firm 1's reaction function. And for firm 2, where I have a Q subscript 2, I'm now plugging in 6 minus 1 half Q subscript 1. Now we're going to just solve this for Q subscript 1. 
So minus 0.5 times 6 is minus 3. Minus 0.5 times minus 0.5 gives us the plus 0 0.25. And that's multiplied by the Q subscript 1. Uh, 6 minus 3 is just 3. And then subtracting minus 0 0.25 Q subscript 1 from both sides. We have this now on the left-hand side. And so 1 minus 0 0.25 leaves us with 0 0.75 Q subscript 1. And dividing through by 0 0.75, firm 1 will produce 4 units of output. Firm 2's output, we take firm 2's reaction function, and we just plug in 4 for Q subscript 1. And firm 2 will also produce 4 units of output. So when both firms have the same cost structure, each firm will produce the same amount of output. To get the price that each firm will sell its product for, we go back to the inverse market demand, and we're just going to plug in our values for firm 1's output and firm 2's output. So doing that, simplifying the output will sell for $10 a piece in this two-firm Carnot model. All right, let's move on to Stackelberg. We're going to assume Firm 1 is the leader. Firm 1 sets its output first. Firm 2 sees Firm 1's output, and then will set its output. So the same kind of setup here, same inverse market demand. We're going to assume each firm has the same marginal cost structure. I'm going to... We're going to need this information. Uh, this is Firm 2's reaction function. When Firm 1 sets its output, it's going to consider how Firm 2 will respond to that output. So that's why I have Firm 2's reaction function here. So once again, we're going to get Firm 1's revenue, price times quantity. For price, I substitute in the inverse market demand. I'm going to simplify that a little bit. And then what I'm going to do here, where I have this Q subscript 2, I'm going to plug in firm 2's reaction function. Okay, so for Q subscript 2, I plug in firm 2's reaction function. And now we're just going to simplify this some more. Minus 2 times 6 is minus 12. Minus 2 times negative 0 0.5 is going to be plus 1, plus Q subscript 1. Simplifying that some more, 26 minus 12 is 14, minus 2 Q subscript 1 plus Q subscript 1 is just minus 1 Q subscript 1. And simplifying some more after multiplying this Q subscript 1 through what's in brackets. We're going to get marginal revenue for firm 1, and this will just be 14 minus 2 Q subscript 1. We set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Twelve divided by two, firm one will produce six units of output. How much will firm two produce? Take this six and plug it back into firm two's reaction function, and we'll see that firm two produces three units of output. Uh, with the Stackelberg model, if both firms have the same cost structure, the firm that goes first will produce twice as much output as the following firm. And finally, to get the price in this market, to evaluate the inverse market demand at the total amount of output in this market, 6 plus 3, and we'll see that the price in this market is $8. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.